All right, so we are doing a drawing session tonight. I haven't done it in a while, but it's gonna be really fun. We got a great model that, you know, has been here a lot. Excited for tonight, got a good group. We're just gonna set up, get everything prepared. I give materials, drawing boards, newsprint, as well as charcoal and anything that anyone needs. So I'm just going to set up and we're gonna get started with the night. So today is just a regular drawing class. If you wanna see how I actually started hosting these and how I grew the classes, I have a video on my channel going into all of that. But today is just another drawing class. You know, I can fit up to usually 15 people per session. It's invite only, but I try to have like five new people every time just to mix things up and give opportunities to people who have never gone to a proper figure drawing session. This night um, in particular, the model was like 15 minutes late. So I jumped on the platform for like 10 minutes to give everyone some warm ups. Leave it to the professional. So this is Greer. He's been modeling for me since the start of these classes. He's one of the best models I've ever seen. And is also just a really open and like nice person. Greer is just one of several models I have in rotation and we are always looking for more. And I mean, looking by looking for more, I mean trying to steal the really amazing models from all of the art universities and ateliers here in New York City. But Greer is also one of the only models that is 100% comfortable with me filming. You know, I have strict consent from him to use any footage I want and to have cameras rolling during these entire sessions, which is usually not the case at all. I think it's awesome to give people a glimpse of what a real figure drawing session is actually like. So shout out Greer. And so this night I want to get weird and wacky like I always do because again under my roof I could kind of do whatever I want um, and I wanted Greer to hold my 360 camera which is so cool while he did his uh, two minute warm-up poses which we'll talk about and I think it would have been the most epic thing ever I don't think it's ever been done before having a model you know pose during a session holding a 360 camera I don't think it's ever been done but I formatted the card to the 360 camera so i will never see that footage we'll do it again sometime but i just thought it was an amazing idea and greer was using it to pose it was just awesome but also sad anyways how these sessions really go is pretty standard for ateliers and figure drawing sessions i think around the world i'm assuming we sort of start off with two minute warm-ups just to get the hand body kind of warmed up if you've watched any of my videos, you know how much I agree with this statement that warming up is very important. Um, and also in general, you know, the, the poses that the model's doing is never longer than 20 minutes. 20 minutes is the max. Sometimes we'll have a multi sort of stage pose we'll, where it will be like an hour drawing where he'll hold the pose for 20 minutes, take a break, and then he'll he or she will grab that pose again. We'll tape off the floor and his you know, his limbs, his or her limbs, and we'll sketch for a while. But in, in my in my sessions, you know, 20 minutes is the max. These, these sessions aren't for rendered drawings, you know, this is um, just sketching and just really feeling the figure out and having a bunch of unique dynamic poses to um, just try to work on in a two and a half hour, three hour session. So what I'm working on right now is actually just a real time 90 minute or excuse me, 90 second pose. This is part of the two minute warmups. Um, and it's just, you can see how rusty. So that's why I actually look forward to the two minute sessions every time because it's just, you know, there's no pressure. It's just get the, uh, get the grease off the elbows or on the elbows, on the joints or whatever may have you. And there's no like strict rules. Like again, if you've ever been to a figure drawing session at an atelier or an art school, you know, it's pretty traditional and it's pretty taken seriously. And I'm, I feel like I'm in the mix with the sessions I hold, you know, the point is to draw, you know, there, there's no fooling around. We're here to draw. If you're gonna, you know, sit in one of these seats, get invited public, privately, excuse me, then you need to draw. But, you know, we listen to music, you're allowed to talk, no cell phones, obviously, but it, it's just a, it's just a fun environment and it's taking something really traditional and sometimes drab and old school and kind of turning it into something nice and new, I think at least that's, what I'm trying to create in my, you know, studio and the vibrations. But these are some other two minute drawings right here. And sometimes these are the most successful, you know, sometimes too much time is too much time and you get confused. 
After the two minute poses, we go into five minute. So he'll hold Greer or the other models will hold, you know, two five minute poses back to back or sometimes three, sometimes four, depending on what we're feeling, how many breaks we want to take. But it's generally, again, like 20 minute drawing sessions, five minute breaks, and then maybe once during the uh, entire class and session, we'll do like a 10 minute break. Um, but you know, like the people who come for the first time, they're always like, oh my gosh, like two minutes isn't enough. But when you, you slowly incremental the timing after each session um, or each like drawing block, each pose, it really shows you how much time there really is. And it, it helps you not get too detailed and it helps you just be loose. This is Jesse the homie. That little time lapse was out of focus, but he's great. He also um, runs sort of drawing sessions in the city. And this was his first time coming trying to tour everyone's drawings right here you know during the break time it's a great time to like look at other people's work and talk about technique and everything else so um we like taking a lot of breaks this is a 10 minute drawing i believe and i was really rusty this day but um you know greer per usual is throwing out just the most epic poses you know we got a sword and a shield right here for some propage you know almost some sort of narrative composition but um you know they go fast 10 minute 15 minutes um and that's and that's what you want and uh you know maybe if there's something you're attached to then you could go back and work on it later but it's really just ripping 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 um and absolutely absolutely fun the people who come it's like all people always ask this again it's like do you have to have any pre requirements no like there's no requirements there's no nothing i just started this in my studio because i had space and i had the desire to draw i know of a, a lot of other people even in other countries that are trying to start their own figure drawing sessions like a little collective of like-minded people who want to draw but you know half the people who come here i think i said already are have never drawn before or seldomly draw ever you know obviously i want this space and the seats to be held for people who really want to draw seriously and have like access to really professional awesome models with materials and everything um set up but um you know there's a lot of newbies and it's a great mix because um you know those newbies will learn or even me sometimes my sessions you know i am like the least experienced drawer and i learn so much from watching the other people work and the amazing technique they have and you're just you just become a giant sponge in these um in these drawing sessions no matter your skill level or experience i'm i switched here from my big newsprint charcoal pad to my smaller sketchbook toned gray so that i can you know use some white charcoal or white colored pencil just you know to switch things up because i kind of have add and get bored of just using charcoal or i use colored pencils and other things like that so this is just like me trying to you know switch it up during the session but i also you know was um figuring out the model um i was also you know i run the sessions it's not like a class where i teach but i set up the poses and i kind of get the consensus from everyone what we want to do again it's selfishly my desire of what we want to do so we're, we're dressing greer up as like an old master um holding a painting palette and this funny hat i got from etsy from the classic dutch boy painting uh, but this specific session, again, also because I was planning on making a video, I was very kind of busy filming everything. So I really didn't draw as much as I usually do. You know, I think I got like a solid, you know, five drawings done, um, which I will show you at the end. But, um, you know, just a wonderful time. Just a really, really awesome time. This is a cool shot, again, of Jesse working really loose. You could see he's using just like a nub of charcoal or, you know, some waxy Conte. Um you know marker and then he slowly refines and this is why i love not only hosting the classes in person seeing other people's techniques but why i'm so excited to share these um and it was my desire when building the studio to really host these figure drawing classes and film them we love to film i love to document and film everything so i'm um, really awesome i hope to do plenty more of these and i want to see how you guys feel and uh yeah, this is, a, this is a wonderful drawing from Jesse. I think this is uh, 15 minute, and I don't think we went past 15 minutes this night, so this was the longest pose. I think we did a few of them, and just awesome. We did it. Drawing session over, Dean. Oh yeah, daddy. This was so much fun, man. Huh? Yes, sir. 
Man, I had a great time. I needed this, man. Yeah. Thank you. I, I forget sometimes. Yeah. Like I, I do forget because um, I've been doing it for like a little bit, but I, 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 I forget when I'm off there. It's like, oh yeah, <laughs> wow. It's, it was for that. something. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And it is tradition in my sessions to pick three or four of your favorite drawings and put them on the floor for everyone to see at the end. It's a great sort of tradition, I think, and it's really cool seeing everyone's work, the different styles. You talk about it, acting like some real artists. It's, it's really happy. It's like the happiest part. These are a few of my drawings from this night. Again, I didn't get as many done as I would have hoped because I was filming and running around like I always do, but still, just a great night. It's fun looking back on these, and I have like you know, hundreds and thousands, honestly, in my uh, portfolio drawers of everyone's work and mine over the, the years and everything. So they're just like mini memories. And, you know, I would totally like urge you or anyone, you know, if you really are interested in doing figure drawing, because it is sort of this like un inaccessible thing. You either have to pay. It's not really expensive, but not every city has like an art school. Not every city has, you know, or community has like an atelier where people are hiring models and there's like a legit setting for people to be nude and to work professionally. They don't have to be nude, of course. We do a bunch of clothed um, sessions also. But, you know, I would urge you to talk with some friends or, you know, get something started because it's really not that hard to do. You also don't need all this equipment. You know, in the beginning stages, I just... I had nothing. I had a couple chairs and, you know, not even a, a platform. It was just someone standing there. You know, you could pay models and, you know, people want to get paid and people are able to sit still even just for portraiture or anything. But, you know, it, it's a wonderful thing and not to like brag, but it's the funnest thing ever. You know, there's no one who leaves my drawing sessions that don't have an unbelievably awesome time, open their eyes to, you know, this sort of war world of figurative drawing in a traditional setting, but also being loosey-goosey and fun and having fun. So that's, I don't know, that's it. I'm ranting, but I try to hold these every week. People always ask me to come. It's really hard. I've talked about it before. I, I, they're not public. It's sort of invite only. I've tried to invite a few people from Instagram that live in the city that I don't know. Some have come, some have not. Um, but for right now, it's kind of just private, small, working on doing it way more often. But these things take time, is what it is. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, there'll be way more of this. Uh, see you in the next video.